Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm about to show you how you can fix crashing on startup when you're trying to play Forza Horizon 5 and it's very annoying. Oh, I hate these types of problems. Like, you're just trying to have some fun and then suddenly you have this issue. I have a solution to help you fix this problem. Now, I can't guarantee you this will work, but I hope it's gonna work. I hope after watching this video and after applying what I'm about to tell you, after applying what I'm about to tell you and uh, will work, I'm, I'm gonna be very happy for you, okay? So, the, the method that I have for you, and I've tried myself and it work perfectly for me, it's very simple but very important, is first, you need to have... First, you need to have installed on your computer direct and user runtime web installer. Just click on this download button and that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to install this. And just make sure you install direct as end user web installer. And then what you have to do, also I'll just check the links in the description of this video. So I can uh, save you some time. You don't have to search it by yourself. It's gonna take more time. So yeah, just uh, click on the link in the description of this video you're gonna have find there all the links and now make sure you also have on your computer and if you don't have make sure you install Microsoft Visual C++ this is what you need in order to run a game properly okay that's what we need and it's very frustrating okay so make sure you go to this link click on it and install this package as well it's uh, pretty easy just click on the download, uh, download link right over there and now the next uh, the next uh, step is to if, you, if if you're a Nvidia user if you're a Nvidia user then make sure you install automatic driver updates GeForce their drivers just click on the download button this is going to identify look uh, analyze um, identify not that's not the right words uh, it will just find if you have if there's if there's if there's available if there's available drivers on your computer or available updates on your computer related to your drivers so yeah pretty good tool hand very really handy tool and now if you're md user click on here don't want that this will auto detect there's any um dry updates that you need for your drivers so pretty good tool as well i'll leave in the description of this video and also you can go f here manager click on this and also click on this and update okay and now you can also go to Windows Update, and I'm not saying you should update your Windows, you should, but there's something that I discovered a long time ago, but it's a very important um, option, a feature that you have in Windows 11. If you go here in Advanced Options, and then you go to Optional Updates here, here you should see a bunch of different updates available. For me, after quite a long time, I haven't checked this because I just forgot, but you know, this can really hinder your performance and uh, will just uh, block or the game aren't gonna work if you, there is a lot of updates here listed related to Windows, related to a bunch of different things. So yeah, make sure you check all of them so I'm not uh, rumbling. I hate that, okay? So I'm trying to not doing that. Okay, click on download and install, and that's pretty much it. So I hope this video helped you. Please let me know, guys, in the comment section if this worked. I'm going to be very happy if I see a bunch of comments, a bunch of people, a lot of people saying that it worked, because I know how annoying and how painful it is to experience that. You just want to play the game, and you just have, then you have to look for solutions, and then, oh my god, man, I, I, I hate when I am in that position. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you with that. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. I really appreciate it. Thank you for, and uh, take care, guys.